uranium in the presence of water will cause fission. That chain reaction produces heat. Uh, we use that heat to generate steam. The steam we use for propulsion and to make electric power. The job in the engineering plant in the submarine and the job in the engineering plant in the carrier are pretty much identical. It starts with the power distribution, so that's that turbine-driven electrical generator, and everything from there goes out across the ship. Every bit of light that we see on board this vessel is produced by us. We always have a standby generator, so if we lose one, parallel it in and have two generators running within probably three minutes. We do maintenance on all electrical equipment on the submarine not just in the engine room for the, the reactor. As far as pumps, as far as the motor controllers for those pumps, circuit breakers. 2E, track 4, quarter 0, DT, track 5, city breaker. Right. So any loose bolts, any uh, chips in the arc chutes here, everything checks out. We use a lot of different types of multimeters to measure the voltage or the resistance or the current of components. We'll check the insulation of it to make sure that something is operating at full efficiency and it isn't starting to wear out over time. You get to work with people who are super intelligent, uh, who love what they do and will challenge you. It's actually a really big space down there and then you interact with you know the mechanics, the ETs on a daily basis. On a carrier, your job is a little bit more specialized where you do mostly just maintenance and qualifications, whereas on a submarine, there's very limited space, so there's very limited people. Everybody has more collateral duties. I think one of the coolest things about working with nuclear reactors is the fact that the ship, besides the fact that humans have to operate it, could go to sea for years and never have to come in for fuel. The enlistment bonus is massive now, $40,000 just to essentially make it through the school. On top of that, re-enlistment bonuses, $100,000, and you get half of that right away, so $50,000 in your bank account one day. It's pretty nice. 